Okay, I'm gonna present myself to you. Okay, that's the best. Okay. Uh, should have said. <laughs> I'm definitely a passionate traveler that loves to see the world, something different. I would love them to come and to see this. See this. This is my way of connecting with the world because we were so close. We were strange from everybody. And my guess. <laughs> That's the thing with Italian guys. Always the same. <laughs> Seriously. Especially this. I mean, this is my passion. This is this is not just work. This is me living. This is me providing for myself. This is me like finally fulfilling my dreams in showing all these places and meeting new people and opening new chances for myself. <laughs> no. Zdravo, everybody, which would be hello, Balkan area, so you can visit like seven to eight different nations in Balkan area, where you can see some pristine nature, some wild roads, where you can do rafting, mountain biking, you can do hiking and climb the highest peaks. I mean, we don't have uh, the highest peaks of Europe, but we have uh, high enough peaks. So, uh, what I'm trying to do is actually to, to show to people uh, that Balkan, which was closed for long, long time because it was one, one country, uh, now is open and it's welcoming and it's greeting to everybody that's will willing to see it, that wants to see it. And we have all those untouched places, we have all those original, traditional, uh, not set up places that are actually as they are and you can see them, you can meet the people, you can talk to people and people, people are usually really welcoming and usually are really eager to please everybody that comes to their like really small village up in the mountain that usually doesn't have anybody. And the reason why I started with it is because uh, originally my family is, uh, they are still living and they are from the Bosnia's highest village, Lukomir, uh, which is like really famous attraction for people that are coming to Bosnia. And I mean, it's one of the places that you shouldn't miss. And one of the reasons why I decided to, to do this, what I'm doing is because I had a chance to see, uh, in one point, my, my grandfather, that's 80. Uh, he never worked anywhere. He was like, he had cattle, he had farms and stuff, uh, but he never worked in a company. Uh, so he decided, because he saw, he's, he's a businessman, he saw an opportunity uh, because all of these people were coming to his village and he wanted to, to give them something from the village to to have something that will remind them of their trip to Lukomir. And then he decided that he will make wooden spoons that are like not really simple to make, but he really loves doing it. And he spends like a couple of hours making them. And uh, when I saw the, the, the pride in his eyes when he sold uh, a spoon, because when you have somebody that's, uh, that and I've seen the joy in his eyes and I said like, okay, this is something that I want to do. I really want uh, for people to be able to meet my grandfather, for people to be able to see his spoons, for people to be able to see his village and to hear his story. And uh, now on my trips, I'm trying uh, and I'm doing that. I'm taking all my, my, my people, that I'm, my friends that are on the tour with me, I'm taking them to my grandfather and they have them an option to talk to him, to hear his story. And I mean, he doesn't speak English, uh, but I'm a translator and then uh, they, they communicate pretty well and he's so friendly and welcoming. And my uh, Okay, we had some rough time behind us, like Bosnia and Herzegovina was in the war for four years, but that was in the past. And now we are going uh, in new directions, we have the future, we have uh, we have the nature, we have all these resources that we can show, that we can uh, 
that, that we are really proud of. And my objectives are basically uh, to, to show that beauty to everybody and to make connections, not just in Bosnia, but I, I really want to connect uh, people like homeowners in Bosnia uh, and homeowners in, in Croatia, in Serbia, in Montenegro, that would send travelers from one place to another that would recommend a certain like accommodation somewhere that would recommend tours in some other countries that would send people to their friends and business partners and uh, you can contact me uh, through Facebook uh, my personal profile or even uh, business profile so uh, I am Samra Haiku like uh, Japanese poem song but okay you can contact uh, Balkan Roots on Facebook or you can contact Camelus Adventures on Facebook and just let us know if you would like to see this place and come and see this place because I I really want to see more people uh, coming here and seeing this beauty. I, I really want to share this with everybody out there. Good. Wait. I think it's I think it's good. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm gonna take away the option that I'm just going to say come. It's hard. <laughs> it's it's hard. Venire qua! Venire! Ah, dinero in italiano! Venire qua! I really want you to come to Sarajevo. I really want you to meet me. I really want to show you my city, my country, Balkan. I really want us to travel together. So contact me through Facebook. Find me on uh, Balkan Roots. Ciao amici, vi aspetto. A Sarajevo. A Sarajevo. E vi presento. Ma che no! Here, I mean, we are in Europe. Okay, maybe you're a Muslim, but keep your religion for yourself. It's something to be at home. If you don't feel like drinking, don't drink. But don't judge people because they want to live normal life. I feel that, that I'm tired. <laughs> and that's the main problem. Like, I can't focus on... Don't leave it.